Okay, got a couple of builds here today. Just going to do a quick overview. Um, this one is the Deadpool Maximum Effort build. This is a 2K build, um, meaning it's capable of running games at 2K. Uh, over there, we've got the John Wick build. That is a 1080p gaming rig. Um, both of these are going to do fantastic uh, at the 2K for this guy and 1080p for the John Wick. Uh, the thing to note here is this can push 4K uh, in some games. It just depends on what the game is. And you could also run games at 1080p on this one if you really want those high frame rates. If you're looking to have 200 plus uh, FPS in a competitive shooter, well, then this will deliver at 1080p. Um, at 2K, you're going to probably, in eSports titles, see closer to uh, 90 to 120 at, at the 2K resolution. Uh, still very respectable and definitely can still be competitive. Um, so before I take off the side panel here, um, the, the glass side panel, just want to point out, so this guy here actually is on the panel. So when the panel comes off, and see if I can do this with one hand. He comes off too. And then we can see inside. Nice clean cable management. Uh, I actually have a fan installed underneath here just to push cool air up towards the graphics card. Two fans on the front. And running a 6650 uh, GPU here and then a 5700X for the CPU, and this one has 32 gigabytes, DDR4, 3200 uh, RAM. So pretty, pretty powerful little system there, and uh, this one also has a one terabyte M.2, and I believe it's a 650 watt um, power supply. So not too shabby. Moving over to John Wick here, we got, um, a similar case. These are both NZXT cases um, <clears throat> with this one having the hard panel in the front and I went ahead and put 140 millimeter fans in there to compensate. Um, it actually cools over here on the side, draws in cool air and from the bottom down here. It's the other reason why I put a fan in underneath here just to put as much cool air going into the case as possible and then we have our exhaust fans and for this one Go ahead and take the side panel off. Uh, for this one, it's got the hard mesh front uh, and it is running a 5600 uh, XT uh, with a 3600X processor, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, 3200. Um, I think this one has a 550 watt power supply in it and it's got a 500 gigabyte M.2 uh, for the operating system, as well as a two terabyte uh, hard drive, regular disk hard drive. So plenty of room in there. And it's got a pretty neat lighting scheme. Went with a cool blue. Uh, both of these, the lights can be changed. Uh, this one actually has a remote, uh, a little magnet on there, so you can stick it on the back. Uh, but if you want to change up the lighting, you very much can go with that all red and black, kind of true to Deadpool's colors. Or if you really want to mix it up a little bit, throw in the cool blue and red. I kind of like the white myself, especially with the tinted side panel. Uh, makes everything show up in the case really well. Uh, but this one has the same thing. Uh, you actually can pull off the front plate here. And down there is a little... Uh, a small dongle that you can change all the RGB lighting in the case with. So makes it kind of convenient. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you have questions on these builds, by all means, feel free to ask. Uh, I've got for the 2K We run the benchmark, it's at high settings. Meanwhile, over here, I've got some canned gameplay of Modern Warfare. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 at 1080p, you're gonna get 90 uh, FPS at high settings. Um, so it does great, no issues, no problems. 
I've been enjoying it very much. Uh, the John Wick one comes with this 1080p uh, monitor. It is a Samsung, and this is actually a uh, mechanical keyboard. It's just a Red Dragon. They're actually really good uh, mouse and keyboard, especially for the price. And with the Deadpool build, there is this 2K, um, I believe it's it's 2K 165 uh, hert and uh, has FreeSync built into it. Um, you can see here we're getting, this is at 2K, 90 frames per second, 87, 89, 92. We'll see what it has at the end there. Uh, and then there's... Logitech mechanical keyboard and Razer mouse. These are just ones I particularly like. So they're usually the ones I pick up. This G910 is a really good keyboard. Um, I really like the feel of the uh, the keystroke. It's nice and crisp. It's awesome mechanical. Uh, average FPS 85, minimum 59, maximum 119. And that minimum is not accurate. It actually has a minimum right when you're starting off. Um, so it's not normally at that 59. That's just the low, the lowest it'll hit, uh, usually when you're starting up or ending, but you're looking at closer to, uh, the 80 to 90 FPS at 2k on cyberpunk 2077. So not too shabby. And that about does it. If you guys have questions and would like to ask, feel free to hit me up. And I've been doing this for about... 13 years. So nobody's perfect. Everybody's always learning new things all the time. Uh, but I have had the luxury of a few years of experience uh, building these systems and putting them together. So um, again, hit me up with any questions you've got. Thanks for taking some time to look. You have a great day.